that statistic bespeaks something about our men. And we must appreciate that. We have some very violent men around the place. This statistic does not include the other forms of abusive behavior that women are exposed to, including psychological and economic. Again, generally, experienced by women at the hands of men. That was Public Security Minister Kemraj Ramjatan, who also reminded that domestic violence is a global issue, and despite the large sums of monies expended to deal with, the victims experience much more than financial losses. The cost, as was mentioned just now, is humongous. But the cost, as we understand, as done by these costing experts, sometimes do not include the emotional cost and the trauma that also has a value, tremendous value. And so we must ensure that our societies will be placed with persons best to ensure that that cost we must not experience, nor the necessary emotional and consequential trauma that comes with it. Meanwhile, Acting Police Commissioner Nigel Hoppy noted that statistics from the year 2017 revealed that there were 2,008 domestic violence reports made to the Guyana Police Force. Of which 171, 1,171 cases were made, while in 2018, there was 1,492 reports, of which 837 cases were made. The 2018-2017 report statistics revealed there that it was 28.2% decrease when the compar comparison was made, while for the cases made, it was 28.5%. Additionally, Project Manager of the Citizen Security Strengthening Program, CSSP, Dr. Clement Henry, elaborated on various initiatives and projects targeting the elimination of domestic violence in Guyana and pointed out that in 2017, when numerous deaths were recorded in this regard, a large sum was expended. Information coming from the Polish Research Unit and Crime Observatory for 2017, when we looked at the reports, and we did a rough calculation of the cost of domestic violence in Guyana for that year, it came up to over a billion dollars. This cost included direct medical care and rehabilitation, loss of income, legal cost, and damage to property, among others. Reporting for the Evening News, I am Kristen Macklingham.